trying to remember. <laughs> Welcome to Scramble Game Show. My co-host Teresa is back, and today we're going to have another show for you. Hi, welcome back, Teresa. Thank you. How's your vacation? It was very hot. <laughs> well, we had very hot weather also this week. Uh, we had a good show last week. Um, the kids enjoyed, but we met some parents, and the parents uh, asked us to uh, do more introduction show for the uh, beginners. So today maybe we should do that. How, okay. What do you think? Sure. We'll, we'll show them how we play the basic scramble word game. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll use the cards that we normally use for the game and maybe what we could do is do a very quick demo. Yeah. Um, can uh, you see the cards? That's the an idea a. is when the letters come up, right. uh, if you can recognize and spell the words, you will uh, say it, and that word is yours. And uh, if you are able to insert letter and scramble it, and you can scramble and change to a longer word. Right. right? So basically, the aim is to make as many words as you can. Right. Yes. But at the same time, trying to steal somebody else's word mm -hmm. to lengthen the word. Right. And at the same time, you have to protect the words that you've already made exactly. by expanding it exactly. yourself. Exactly. So everyone plays all the time at the same time. Right. So that's an E right mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. and that's an S. Mm -hmm. So we could for make example, a word. For example, for younger kids, three-letter word, and yes. up, we can say C. That's right. right? So we could make mm -hmm. C. So that's C. And then mm -hmm. that's like a word you've Let's made. Let's say C. If I say C, then this will be mine, right? Right. right. Okay, and then we will keep opening the word, mm -hmm. the letter, uh -huh. and I would steal it and say seem. Aha, uh -huh. seem, correct. Mm -hmm. And we just keep opening, mm -hmm. okay? And we could, I could still seem, mm -hmm. and I could make means. Basically, I stole seem, and I made a new word, means. Ah, okay. See that? Without using the T. The T is still available for a word. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's on the table. So yeah. that's a word so that belongs to somebody. So from C to uh, seem, seem, and from seem to, to means. means. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let's keep on but, going. But if you didn't use S, you could say meant. Yeah, eh? good. Mm -hmm. That's the whole idea. How resourceful are you? Right, and you just keep making words like you could make tot, tot right? T O T. T -O -T. Mm -hmm. Just like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And you keep opening up. Yeah. Trot. Right. Isn't that That's, a word? Yes. Okay. So now do that. T R. And, oh, trot. <laughs> right. T R O T. So, right. So the, the way to play the game is basically as you flip the cards open, you make as many words as you can. Mm -hmm. The first person to say the word and spell the word correctly. Mm -hmm. and the word should exist in right. the dictionary, we'll take the word and put it in front of them, yep. and we keep opening cards and keep making words out right, of it. Right, right, That's This, this is process continues. Therefore, everybody is playing at the same time, and you don't count the scores during the half game, but at the end, how many words you made, you count the scores. Right, and every, every letter has a score, a face value, and mm -hmm. some of the vowels have what we call a bonus score. Mm -hmm. So let's say if the I, it has a 2R, means two times to the right. Mm -hmm. So whatever letter is to the right of the I mm -hmm. will be a bonus point added on to right. the basic points. Right. So basically, we're teaching people um, spelling mm -hmm. and vocabulary. The better your vocabulary, the better you're going to be at this game, and also a bit of mathematics, right. where we're doing addition and multiplication. Right. Right. So basically, this is the way you play the scramble word game. Mm -hmm. It's very basic for all the other games, mm -hmm. just a little bit of a variation right. here and there. Okay. Okay. Let's do just maybe a few more, mm -hmm. just to show the audience how we all do this. Right. Yes, we can move okay. up. Okay, and you, you could do so, S-A-W. S-A-W, yes. Right. That's you good. can make three-letter word, four-letter word, depending on the age group that you're right. playing as with. As minimum, you mean, and minimum length of the words. Right. Yeah, and you can make it as challenging as you want. If you wanted it to be very challenging, you could do a five-letter and up. Mm -hmm. So this is a nice game where you can bring the level up or down, depending on who you're playing with. Mm -hmm. And that's what's nice. You could play with a kid as young as a four-year-old who could play a three-letter word. Right. Or, you know, 50-year-old. now, if I do this, uh, can I say sway? S-W-A-Y, sure. You could do that. Okay, mm -hmm. so from... And the rule is now, I know that you cannot add certain 
letters to the back of it. Like you can add an S to try, right? Mm -hmm. Because it is the same word. It's just the plurality changes. Okay, not and a new and word. you can add an ed to a word. Yeah, that's okay. past tense. Tense changes not considered. All right, a so it has to word. be a completely new meaning to the word. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Let's see. Is it D? Aid. You could do eight, sure. Mm -hmm. A raid. Uh -huh. See, three-letter words are very easy to steal to make a longer word. So, yeah. your so safest you, bet is to make as long as a word that you can get. But if you can steal yourself, you basically uh, protected your words. So, right. I think still pays to be fast to make words as fast as you can and add letters as fast as you can. Right. That way, you you will not. Uh, Right, and, and you have like 138 letters 30, here? No, 136. 136, okay, so that's quite a lot of words that you mm -hmm. can make. Oh, yes, yeah. Now, counting the words, of course, as you just explained, there's a bonus, uh, the multiplying the letter points to the left, to the right, depends on the uh, bonus factors in the car. Um, so when you steal, uh, you should pay attention to that. Right, you do have to be very quick because you want to try to maximize your score and mm. try to put the most score to the bonus towards where the bonus is going to be. Right. But sometimes it's not always possible if you're playing with a group of people and you know you want to be very quick. That's you want right. to get the That's word right. to yourself, right. yeah. and it's, it's, it's hard to think a, that a way. Compromise between uh, speed and uh, strategy of optimizing right. your your score. Yep. Yeah, and particularly if uh, the skill level is comparable. It could be you know, extremely you know, uh, competitive. Yeah, it is, it is a very exciting game when you have you know, four or five people playing. It, it really is a very good game to play. Right. Um, the game is always different. Every time you play, you come up with different words. And after a while, you really mm -hmm. learn a lot of new right. vocabulary. The, the, the whole process encourages people to learn because you basically look at four letters. You know, already, your mind, your brain is, is uh, you know, it's thinking what are the you know longer words might be right and uh, for example here uh, if I have a a l comes I can say always always yeah right, right. and that's natural when people say, oh I know that word this yeah. way can be always right yeah in the beginning for this game I think people might find it difficult because the mind doesn't think that way but mm. with a lot of practice the more you play the game the better you get at oh, it yes. and your mind really and, can and that really gets unscramble these, the words this, yeah scrambling and unscrambling and right. spelling like tr trout you uh, comes up you just say ah here's the fish trout right right yeah yeah mm -hmm. so that's a uh, very very you know it's a good game for the mind definitely yeah. I, yeah. I hope this process you just you know we, we just explained to uh, people and the parents can get this and uh, understand how to uh, you know play and when you play with the, the younger kids uh, you you know could adjust the rules and uh, and the sure. you know, length of words to make the sort of game more interesting for the learners and more beneficial to them also. Right. I mean, there's also a way if the parents are playing with the kids and the kids are very young, um, the kids can steal from, from the parents, but the parents can't steal from the kids. So oh, you, you can, can that rule compromise that yes. rule yes. too, and That's you true. make it fair to both sides. Right. Yes, right. there's many ways of doing yeah. um, so the game. So in a family, you can play among, you know, uh, not only uh, uh, children, but, uh, you know, parents and children or even grandparents cross generation and it could be a very uh, interesting game. Right. This reminds me actually, um, uh, Friday I was at the Manhattan Library. Uh, there's a, a kid, uh, he plays already with uh, parents and uh, tells me that the grandparents are visiting them next week and he wants to play with the grandparents and the grandparents are master in Scrabble. Oh, I see, uh, okay. So, but the kid apparently decided that uh, he could challenge them. Well, it is a little different from Scrabble. As you know, Scrabble is, is a game where you wait for your turn to play. Mm -hmm. This is a game where everybody plays all the right. time at the same time. Right. So it's going to be a little bit more exciting and mm -hmm. a lot more challenging yeah, than And also, Scrabble. Uh, it doesn't limit you in terms of uh, uh, the number of words. words. Right. That's right. Scrab yeah. Scrabble, typically, you are not going more than seven, eight tops right. that are long. And uh, also tendency of uh, playing Scrabble, you're playing the short words, two letter, three letter words. Yes, that's to, the thing. To, it's uh, very limited. Uh, you know, optimize your points. And there's only total 94 two letter words. So the Scrabble player tend to print them memorize out and, them into all. a sheet and memorize yes. all the two letters. And if you ask them, I don't even know what it means, but I know this is that it a word I play. Right, and, right. Uh, yeah. And for three letter word, there's uh, uh, you know, a fact of 10 more, but still it's relatively limited 
words. Whereas in this game, uh, you know, whatever dictionary you're always coming you up with new words. That's right. You you have unlimited you know sort of a vocabulary to play with. Yeah. So good. Well, so this is the basic Scrabble word game. Scramble. Why don't, scramble. I'm sorry, uh -huh. Scramble word game. Why don't we show the audience uh, another game? Okay. Just a, a quick All right. variation of how yeah. we play. Uh, well, perhaps we can uh, tell the audience, you know, this uh, Scramble game uh, is a, a series of games. Actually, uh, more than this book says more than 20, and now actually it's more than 30 book, uh, games now uh, you can play. Uh, uh, the the book uh, is uh, is ah okay the book actually is in full color uh -huh. yeah it, and uh, it illustrate illustrates the uh, the games uh, with pictures and how do you play so shall, how about we try uh -huh. one or two of the games in the, here the the games uh, uh, we're gonna try okay yeah maybe we should first try the the, the, I know this one the kids love. It, it's, uh, it's called uh, uh, poker game. Uh, particularly, kids like to play. It's called uh, Texas Hold'em. Okay. okay. So why don't we demonstrate right. that? And maybe we can open our cards up so the audience can see what's right. happening. Okay. okay. Uh, Texas Hold'em is a poker five-card poker game. Uh, each person gets dealt with two cards, and then you have so-called community cards that come up. And then you share the community cards, community cards with your cards in your hand to make the highest, you know, okay. sort of uh, uh, games. Now, in this case, we now, of course, uh, using scramble cards, and there's no ace, king, jack, queen, ten uh, sort of uh, things, but you have to use uh, your letter skill. Okay. Okay. So all we're right. going to make a word, basically. Right. Okay. Okay. Maybe you should take a formal cut. All right. Okay. So that uh, we are playing fair square. Now you have. One card, this two cards. Yeah. Now, normally uh, you can play with chips or anything you want to make it more interesting. And the process of a poker, you start, you know, bet. Okay. Now, when I look at my cards, what I have to decide whether there's a value or not is number one, maybe the point system. Number two, what letters, okay, are frequently used can make words easier. Uh, for example, vowel E is a very you know, useful uh, letter uh, compared to Q or some other letters that it's hard to make a word. Uh, thirdly is the bonus points. If you have a bonus card that can allow you to multiply and so forth, that is valuable. So based on those, you would have bet your, you know, sort of a, Put a bet down, okay. bet down yeah. right? Now, we just pretend we are betting. Uh, let's say in this case, I will say uh, two chips. All right, and I'll just follow You'll two follow. chips. Okay. okay. Now, then the community card comes in. Usually, they put the first one uh, down without opening because you know, just sort of to be fair. Uh, you have oh three vowels. Oh three vowels. Ah, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Now. Maybe for the benefit of uh, an audience, let's do a turn this way. Okay, normally when you hold your hand, it's vertical, but this way uh, the audience can see better. A E O is the three community card. Okay. Okay. Now, with that, now I would uh, raise my bet from two chips to ten. Okay. Okay means you want to follow? I'll just follow along. We'll okay. see what I get. Now, then we will get another community card out. Okay? which is H. Uh-huh. Hmm. All right. Mm, these two, three vowels, no, no bonus. That means, okay, I will raise another 10 chips. Okay, I'll follow. You'll follow, okay. G. Huh? Again. Hmm. How many more cards do we get? Uh, five, that's it. Oh, okay. okay. So from this five community card and mm -hmm. two, you select the best word Combination. you can make. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. You can make, uh, of course, two-letter two word, three-letter word, four-letter up to seven-letter word. Mm -hmm. The more you can. But 
there's a rule. You have to use one of your own car, okay. which is obvious because if you only yeah. use these five, then your opponent can use these five also. Make whatever word you want to make the same word. That would be a tie in any case, right? So uh, when you compare, you must use one of your own card okay. and make it work. All right. Okay, at this point, um, I think, hmm, I, I would um, actually uh, pass. Pass? What uh, do you mean pass? It means I'm not going to raise any more money. Oh. And okay. let you decide. You you can bet more. But if you pass, why would I want to bet? Because if you think you will win, you put more. So uh, I'll chase chips. you up. Okay, I'll I'll put ten. I already had twenty some thirty in there. I may as well give you ten. Okay. All right. All right. Now, so now we make the words. Yeah. Okay. You you uh, declare your word. Me first. Okay. Yeah. I'll do a go long ago. A go. Yeah. Oh. That. Because I have a bonus two times to the oh, left on my O. Very good. So that's six, so it's 12 okay. bonus points. Six, and then that's seven, eight, that's 20. Seven plus 12 is 19. Wait, it's six. Oh, eight, eight. eight. It's 20. 20, okay. okay. All right. So what's the letter before here? That's this mine. Eight. Okay, that's yep. yours. And see, I don't have a bonus. Okay, so but you have pretty uh, high You have status. 20. It's very hard for me to win because five... Six, that's 11. Right, that's Even no I use the you. whole thing, okay. I would not get to 20 points. Okay. I basically have to give up. Even mm -hmm. though I have a lot of words, I can say feet, F E A T. Yeah. I can say gate. Yeah, okay. but you are all a one point, five point. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, um, I can do foe. There's many, many words. Unfortunately, that bonus. The bonus is made, the key. Right? Okay. So in a, in a poker game and playing chips and so on, and that's certainly a you know a valuable card, so you could uh, you know okay. make your bets All right. accordingly. So that's very you know, uh, simple if you know how to play. So Texas this is Hold more it. strategy where you put your bonus cards. Very much strategy, not so much the length of your of your word. Oh yeah, it's op optimizing the, the score. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sometimes longer words certainly is more points, but usually. Uh, it depends on the letters you choose. Okay? okay. Why don't we do another one? All right. Just to. Okay. That's called burn car. This terminology we all use the uh, uh, Texas Hold'em term terminology. Okay. All right. Why don't you lead a bit? Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll put two. Two. This time. From two, I raise you to ten. Whoa, before okay. even seeing the community card. All right, I'll follow. Okay. All right. Now three cards. G. O. Let's do it this way. N. Okay. G O N. Now, um, what do you say? Want to make a um, bet? Yeah, I'll I'll do ten. You will do 10. Mm -hmm. hmm. All right. 100. I'll do 100. 100? Yes. Okay. I'll follow. You'll follow. Okay. I'll take you on. <laughs> take me on. All right. A. Okay. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there's a bonus card on the table, so you could take advantage of that. And uh, even though I. Well, have, so can you. Right, but depends on whether you can use it or not, mm -hmm. right? Hmm. Another 50. Another 50, hey? Okay. I'll go along. Yeah, go along. Mm hmm. All right. Oh, Q. Q. Mm hmm. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, another hundred. Close? No, no way. <laughs> How about we we, we um, All right. What's race. your what's your word? She doesn't want to fold. Huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna get tricked by you. All right, another hundred. Okay, if you lose, you have to uh, uh, buy me a dinner. How's that? And if you lose, I'll buy you. <laughs> you gotta give me a blank check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
All right. Uh, I have. Mm, you only have I and E's. Right. But You're gonna lose. Two left. Probably the best for me is Jin. Okay. G I N. Yeah. Uh, unless I can use that O also. Uh, o also. You're gonna lose. Okay. What do you have? I could make a long word. I could make a fruit. Okay. Longan. Uh, do you accept uh, that? No. no, long. That's not this way spelling. Logan yeah. is like an airport. All right, let's do log. I still win. Why? Because it's two times to the right. I get uh, the bonus twelve. But plus and the then three. ten. Okay. That's You'll twenty-two. Win. Right, you win. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, I guess I win a black. black okay. Check. All right. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, uh, that's this is, uh, Texas, Texas Holden. And Holden. Yeah. Okay. Now, right. just to quickly uh, wrap up this uh, poker part. You know, poker game is lots of different poker game. Five card poker, seven mm -hmm. card poker. You know, they call the uh, um, you know um, different names. Uh, but fundamentally, you can convert any poker game into a uh, word game. Word, you know, scramble poker sure. game. Mm -hmm. uh, the procedure, the the, uh, the the bluff and bet and all that can follow. Now, our idea here, of course, introduce this as a learning game, so we're not you know. Really advising people to, to gamble, gamble. Mm -hmm. uh, but they can certainly use the, all those chips uh, uh, that normally people uh, use to play. Uh, I noticed actually uh, the poker game chip uh, is a big seller in the uh, toy store. Okay, so every family has uh, at least one box, so you don't even have to buy a new one. Just take the chips and use the scramble cards. You can play all kinds of poker game. Okay. Okay. That's poker. Now. Another game which is uh, quite interesting in my mind, but uh, not many people uh, uh, know how to play uh, because they're just not exposed to it. But they all heard about it, and that's called mahjong game. Mm -hmm. You know, mahjong is a very old game and uh, it's played by probably several hundred million people. Okay, uh, Jewish people, Chinese people, they all love mahjong. Okay, now the mahjong game interesting because uh, uh, they, they make you really concentrate and try to you know, uh, assemble your, your sort of tiles yeah. into yeah. these uh, uh, tricks, the three, 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 three mm -hmm. uh, of, of the three of a kind or a sequence of letters. Now, that is interesting enough as a game because a lot of people love it and sometimes play hours and hours, okay? But playing scramble, mahjong, even more interesting because now this assembling process is far more challenging. Okay, I'll give you an example. Let's say we play the 14 tile, 14 card mahjong, which means you dealt with you you deal you deal with with three uh, 13 cards, and then out of 13 cards, if you get a 14th card, you could make a win by having let's say in the mahjong sense. Is three, 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 two, right? That's three of a kind, three of a kind. But in the word game, now we can make three letter words, three letter words, three letter words, three letter words and a two letter word and win, right? Yeah. But that it's as, as simple, I mean, sort of low level, but you could vary the sort of sequence. You can make three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Okay? Two, three, four, five add up to 14. You can make two. So you can make any sequence as long as the two, cards add up. Six, okay. six. Right? Okay. Now, because the sequence are different and the sequence carries the points are different, and the difficulty of making longer words is increasing as the length goes on, so you can assign the value okay, for your winning. Okay, much more sophisticated than actually even mahjong. But mahjong is already very sophisticated because the patterns they yeah. generate. Okay? So when you play uh, scramble mahjong, okay, you have almost unlimited challenge in terms of how do you optimize and based on the probability you think that different letters will come up that you. But will you draw. always need a two at the end. Right. You, you always okay. have to have a two letter word okay. like the mahjong. The word right. mahjong in mahjong is a pair. Yeah. Now here is instead of pair is a two, two letter, letter word. word. Okay. Let's okay. try it. 
Okay? All right. We try one game. Okay. Now, we basically have 13 cards. Okay, I'll take four at a time. Go faster. And I suggest we open up and play so that, you know, people can see how we play. Okay. All right? Now, normally it's four people play this. And uh, that's another advantage. But do you get to exchange cards at all? No. Oh, oh, this uh, yes. is it. When, no, when, when you have 13 cards, yeah. let's, let's say we just okay. uh, put it out and all right. let the people see what you have. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, there's uh, several ways of uh, deciding what kind of pattern you can make. Okay. You could either use a dice, throw a dice, mm -hmm. and say, okay, the dice shows we play two, three, four, five, then you must make a pattern is two, three, four, five. Okay. If the dice show two six six, you make that. All right. In this first game, we just any pattern. Okay, we okay. don't restrict. All right. Okay. So in this case, the first thing you need is a two-letter word. You should easily select. For example, you okay. select the two. That's a two-letter word. All right. The rest of you trying to make three-letter word, four-letter word, or something like that. Okay. All right. In my case, uh, I only have oh, three six six. 13, yeah, that's correct. We have three vowels. Uh -huh. Okay, oh, so we must do this quick. Okay, now, uh, let's see, I can do it. Uh, hmm. I don't think I, I would better use up the J quickly because J usually is difficult. Let's say I'll do just, okay? Just and uh, R A N, ran, okay? Okay, uh, could we share the box? Because this way I think audience can see better. We do soar. Okay, ha. now, you see, right now, I am lucky in a sense. I already have three words and in, that's ma jiang. But this is only 13 cards, you need, you need 14. Right. So, wherever the start the game, let's say if I start up, I would draw a card coming in mm -hmm. and use it, okay? Now, since this is a Y, okay, if I cannot use this Y, anywhere and I don't want I don't want to change my word yeah. I would discard, discard this one I see and you okay. have a choice to take that one or draw a card okay so I'll draw a card then. okay oh H too uh -huh. many H's all right now here if I get an I I can say rain I win I see and if I get a T store I win right so I have a lot more chance ooh, ooh, ooh. still no A <laughs> okay, I guess I... Oh, oh, wait, wait. No, sorry, I win. A-N is a word. And ran, rain is rain. a word. Okay. So now that's my jump. The yeah. 14 cards, I made it two, four, four, four. Okay. Okay, so... And then how do you count the points? You just again, count the face value? Again, uh, yeah, the face okay. value the, for this bonus points and so on. Okay. The counting part is, is the same, same as uh, you know, other scramble mm -hmm. games. Okay. But this when four people play and so on, uh, particularly when you have a particular pattern you have to meet. It's very challenging. Right now we can, you know, any because, number of Okay, so you, at, at the beginning of the game you could say, let's do a pattern of three, four, five. Usually we throw the dice and okay, determine. I That's see. all like Mahjong does. Okay. And the dice tells you, okay, this game you have to make two, six, six, then you I must see. make two, six, six. Okay. Then in this case I would have to make this into stores. Then it be a little harder yeah. because it's stores, a six letter. Okay. Yeah. And now the six letter of the other six letters, I have to think about how to do this, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And two six six will be obviously harder. Okay. Yeah. So I think we 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 uh, today probably just end at this point. Okay. okay? Uh, we have uh, some guests that they want to play the scramble game, so we'll uh, invite them to play. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's very very good. <clears throat> So we'll get our guests ready. Now, uh, we will be right back. We have some guests that will join us to play some scramble games. Welcome back to the show. 
Uh, today we uh, have uh, two young guests, and these two uh, young guests are not ordinary guests. They are, uh, they are the champions of the uh, Scramble Tournament uh, student team competition. And from my right is Simon O'Keefe, who is uh, from Somers uh, Middle School, 